and uh, equity and equality, we are having a discussion right now as Mount Kenya leaders. We are proposing that we do one man, one vote, one shilling. We divide the revenue according to uh, the number of people because uh, I feel uh, unfairly treated when I am representing 110,000 people uh, given equal amount of money to another MP who is representing 5,000 people. So that is not fair. So that is why we are bringing this discussion of one vote, one man, one shilling when uh, national resources are being, are being divided in the uh, NGCDF, in county government uh, disbursement. Let that money be divided according to the number of people. And that discussion, we are having it and we are not going to stop it. Whether some people want it or don't want it, that is a discussion we are going to have as Mount Kenya leaders that uh, the shareable revenue must be divided according to the number of people. Mount Kenya, we feel unfairly treated, not in this government, from the time immemorial. The formula of sharing revenue is not fair. And we are not blaming President William Ruto because he has found that uh, formula in place. It's only that we want to start this discussion. We see uh, what we can do to make sure everyone feels appreciated in this country and everyone feels like, for example, we have bursaries. I'm giving my, my PPUs and my students 5,000 and 3,000, while other MPs are giving their students uh, 30,000 and 20,000. That is not fair. I want my to educate also my students from Form 1 to university, just like the other MPs. So when we see other MPs are giving bursary of 20,000 and 30,000, and I'm giving 2,000 or 3,000, that is what that is the conversation we want to have, because we cannot have one MP uh, getting more resources and he has fewer people, and I have more people and I'm getting fewer resources. That is a conversation we must have whether people like it or not.